today we are going to Nigeria so our day story will be about this beautiful Nigerian sister of ours by the name of Chex who found love on online dating apps with an Italian guy last time I shared a video which was really really sad of an Italian guy who abandoned an African lady from Namibia at the airport so in today's story we are going to be having a total different Italian man because this Italian man of today his name is Leandro <laughs> and represents a romantic Italian man I did a video about dating an Italian man and I told you guys Italian men are so romantic so Leandro represents what I shared in that video when I said they are very romantic very loving and very very caring that is not all guys Chex is a single mother so when she was on online dating apps searching for love was a single mother of one so you ladies who are here watching today's love story you are a single mother searching for love today's story is going to inspire you a lot without forgetting guys we will have a lot of afro cinemas <laughs> in this love story but before i go far this lady of today all the couple of today's story they are content creators so they have their own youtube channel called checks lair please please dear friends support our nigerian sister support this brother-in-law of ours <laughs> by subscribing to their channel you're going to enjoy a lot about their content they've shared videos about their love journey even on how they met but in today's story guys specifically it is going to be a detailed one and when i tell you a detailed story i think you understand me so friends if you are online dating apps searching for love but due to the experience you've had so far it's a bad one you are so disappointed you are very frustrated you you are at the point of giving up checks tells you that please do not give up because the last minute might be it because even for checks she was about to delete the dating app and then that same same minute that is when she received a message from the one so guys without wasting much of your time let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story so friends chicks love story starts way back then when chicks was at the university on her first year she fell in love with a guy this guy was in his 20s he was 22 years of age and at that time chicks was 19 years old so it was fast love and you know how it is guys <laughs> so they dated for a while and then things happened shared the goodies <laughs> and after sharing the goodies passed some time chicks came to find out she was pregnant after finding out she was pregnant got very very scared couldn't tell the guy that she was pregnant decided to leave the university went to another state where the sister was living and so after arriving at the sister's place told the sister that she was pregnant the sister told her don't worry i am going to support you keep your baby so she lived with the sister for quite some time the pregnancy was growing and they started thinking of the easiest way to tell chick's parents that she was pregnant then in the end found a way to tell Czech's parents that she was pregnant the parents were very very disappointed in Czechs, but what can they do she's pregnant already so they had to support her told her don't worry we support you keep your baby so after Czechs talked to the parents they told Czechs 
you have to communicate to the father of the child let him know that you are burying his child you are pregnant <laughs> at that time she was six months pregnant so she had to call the boyfriend to let him know when he picked the call chicks was like i know you haven't seen me for quite some time now and i wonder why you haven't been asking where i am so i am calling you to tell you that i am pregnant when the guy heard the news he started laughing you know men guys <laughs> and guys when you are pregnant and you tell a guy that you are pregnant then he starts laughing you know that this guy is about to reject the pregnancy <laughs> that is what exactly happened to checks i am not ready to be a father at this early stage so if you want to continue the relationship with me you have to abort that pregnancy checks got very disappointed in that guy and decided to block him everywhere kept her pregnancy so checks remained at the parents house taking care of her pregnancy and one month before her 20th birthday she gave birth to this beautiful baby girl so guys seven months after checks gave birth to her baby girl the parents sat down with her told her checks you have to forget about school right now you have to concentrate on taking care of your baby you have to think of your life you know guys how sometimes african parents can be so education wasn't a priority at that time checks had to look for a job so that she can take care of her baby and that is when chicks had to leave the parents house go to Port Harcourt join her sister there look for a job so guys checks tells us at that time she had learned her lesson when it comes to relationship she was concentrating only on her daughter and her life in general so after arriving in port harcourt luckily she found a job in one of the company so she started working as she was working uh, there this company that she was working with was dealing with the expatriates so they used to send checks to supply some things to these white men so she could see white men are there they could look at her of course she's very very beautiful slim and the idea of dating a white man started from there but as we know guys checks had a very bad relationship experience in the past she is a single mother but what mattered to her at that time was to look for life never wanted to put herself into any relationship but told herself if i am going to date any man my next man will be a white man so after one year of being in port harcourt she was able to bring her daughter to live with her so she brought her daughter and tells us at that time her life changed completely because she had to make sure the daughter is happy and the daughter is okay it was work 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 so dear friends when checks brought her daughter to port harcourt it was 2012 she told me she remembers and after three years of checks being in port harcourt tells us during the weekends she could go to her sister's beauty saloon where ladies used to go there and do their hair so all these weekends when checks used to be at the saloon with a sister used to see these beautiful nigerian slim ladies coming to the saloon to do their hair and they could come with flashy things they had expensive bags you know expensive phones big ones <laughs> had brazilian hair you know guys when i talk of expensive things you know smelling good and these ladies she tells us 
in the saloon it is where women gossip so these ladies could be there then start talking of how they're going to attend these expensive parties they could mention the names of the white guys meaning they were dating white men the expatriates who were in nigeria port harcourt <laughs> So chicks could look at them and be like, I wish to be like them. I wish to have that, you know, good life, you know, own expensive things. <laughs> Cause those ladies were her age mate, same, same age. So they could do their hair and when they finish, they could even leave change for chicks. <laughs> so she really wanted that life. But at the same time, she's a mother tells us she had to stay on her lane plus never had any connection <laughs> so friends we are almost getting to know how chicks came to find out about online dating apps chicks tells us there is this lady who was working for her sister at the saloon and this lady was dating a russian guy so talk to chicks and the sister was like chicks i see you are a very hard working lady i've been observing you and your body the way you are you are slim beautiful just like a model i think you should try dating a white man chicks tells us in our african community and i know this too because i'm an african if you are a single mother it's like your own is the worst nigerian men might judge you because you are a single mother but let me tell you a white man will never judge you because you are a single mother so when chicks heard these words from this lady told her you know what i wish i could date a white man but i don't know where to find him i don't have any connection <laughs> so the lady told her that do not worry you don't need any connection only your phone you can find a white man just on your phone so guys the truth is at that time checks did not have a smartphone the only person who had a smartphone was the sister because all the money that chicks could get was to take care of her daughter. Her daughter mattered a lot than a smartphone. So when this lady was talking of finding a white man on the phone, explained how, told them about the dating apps, even mentioned the dating app to download. So what they did, they used the sister's phone to download that dating app and use it together so chicks was searching and the sister too was searching because she was single like i told you so their searching journey started and one day chicks came across a profile of an italian guy this guy was in nigeria seven miles away from where chicks was <laughs> so she sent a message to this italian guy but never replied only after two weeks the sister told her that you know what that italian guy replied chicks was very very happy but this italian guy told her that he was in italy at that moment but he'll be coming to nigeria because he was an expatriate working in nigeria so he was on leave that is why he was in italy so they kept on chatting and chatting then the guy returned to nigeria put her coat and fixed for their first meeting so friends the day for their first date came and checks went they met everything went very very well checks returned home but tells us at that moment she was going through a lot her rent almost was expiring so she was under pressure couldn't concentrate well in that relationship they fixed for the second meeting that same same week so when chicks went wasn't comfortable wasn't okay you know mentally you're worried you're going to lose your house so that italian guy noticed that chicks wasn't okay asked her what is wrong but chicks never wanted to tell the guy what was going on 
because you have met this guy it is just that one week and you already have problems so she was like no i am not going to tell him the guy insisted because you know what guys one thing about italian men they can't stand a lady with a sad face <laughs> They want someone who is lively, you're positive, always smiling. <laughs> so this guy noticed immediately that Chicks wasn't okay. So he insisted and insisted. Then Chicks had to tell him the truth that my rent is almost expiring. I am worried, but I'm working on it. I am going to make sure that I don't lose my house. So after this Italian guy listening to Chicks problem, asked her how much checks told him the amount and told her give me your account number checks gave out her account number and immediately on the spot the guy transferred the amount to checks bank account oh my god she tells us it was like a miracle to her because she never expected it so friends they kept on talking chatting their relationship growing stronger but Chex tells us as you know these expatriates they travel from one place to another but this italian guy was treating her very very well to an extent that chicks told herself if i am going to date another white man i am going to date an italian man because what i've seen they are very responsible they know how to treat a woman they are so loving and so so romantic so 2019 december chicks returned to the dating apps after ending the relationship with that italian guy and also tells us one day went for a passover night prayers and the pastor asked people to write what they want from god their prayers so chicks had to write down that god before this year end let that italian husband locate me she tells you guys that there is nothing that god cannot do so to her experience on online dating apps she tells us it wasn't the easy one she was chatting with men but all of them were time wasters and was very very frustrated at that time was like no i am going to delete this dating app because all i see is time wasters and at that time when she was almost giving up it was may 21st 2020 so this day was a very special day because it was her sister's birthday it tells us it was during the pandemic where there was lockdown so she could spend lots of time on the phone because she didn't have anywhere to go so that 21st may she went for her sister's birthday party and told herself when i return home today i am going to delete this stupid dating app with full of players and scammers so she went to her sister's birthday party had fun then returned home but was very very sure she is going to delete that dating app same same night <laughs> she was you know things were here <laughs> so after arriving home went through her messages on that dating app but no one was serious still so told herself let me take off my clothes take a shower and then delete this dating app <laughs> so before going to shower she was like let me take a look again at my phone and that is when she found this long message from a cute italian man and the message was ciao i am leandro from italy told her about his hobbies the work that he does told her where he lives even the address everything that message had lots lots of important information those as that message was long to an extent it was full on the screen <laughs> So she kept on reading the guy saying he's single he's very serious looking for a serious relationship interested in an african lady and would like to get to know her more after reading the message she was like okay you got me then decided 
to respond. They chatted for like 10 minutes and then they decided to go to bed. They slept. The next morning, Chex wrote a message to this Italian guy, told him that, can we please exchange WhatsApp numbers? Then immediately, Leandro sent his WhatsApp numbers to Chex. So after exchanging phone numbers, Leandro told Chex, I do not speak good English. I don't know English. Chex told him, don't worry. I am going to teach you English. He's such a good lady. Cause some ladies be like, if you don't speak English, I am not going to chat with you. <laughs> but you see Chex encouraged him. And that is when a guy starts seeing a good woman in you. We should learn from this. So they chatted and then, cause Chex had come across lots of scammers on online dating apps. She was like, I was with an Italian guy in the past. I know their accent when they speak English and they speak English. So recorded herself a voice note and told Leandro to record himself too. A voice note so that she can listen to the accent of Leandro. If it is true, he is an Italian guy. So Leandro recorded himself a voice note, sent it to Chex, and Chex confirmed that it is true the guy is Italian. Told him, wow, you have got a very nice voice. Isn't bad, but don't worry, I am going to teach you just like I promised you. Leandro was like, yes, I would like to learn English. So they kept on chatting, getting to know each other, and Leandro told her that I had seen you two months ago, and I was like, oh my god, this lady is very, very beautiful. Is she even real? because the photos that she had put on her profile they were really really beautiful so when leandro saw her profile tried to send a message to her but it wasn't going through tried and tried nothing until he decided to delete that dating app download again change the location to kenya and then try to send a message to Chex. Then it worked. That is when Chex got Leandro's first beautiful message. So they kept on chatting, talking on a voice call, but Chex was like, no, I have to make sure I see whom I am dealing with. I have to see him on a video call. So what she did, I'm telling you this lady is very, very clever. <laughs> She decided to call him on a video call without telling him. <laughs> this I've been advising lots of ladies who come on my Instagram that call him without telling him and see what he's gonna do. Chicks made a video call and what Leandro did ended it immediately. So she was like, you are not real. Wrote to him and was like, I've discovered you are not real. So Leandro was like, how am I not real? I am real. I sent you even my address of where I live. I am with clients. That is why I cannot respond to you. Chex was like, no, I don't believe you. You are not real. <laughs> Kept on insisting, wanting a video call. So Chex tells us that evening after the clients left, Leandro made a video call and when she responded, they were all laughing like stupid people. <laughs> oh my god, love is so beautiful. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> so they laughed and were like, okay, now I see you. She confirmed that the guy was real. You see, not a guy that keeps on refusing your video calls. If he is interested in you, he's gonna make that video call. So they laughed and was like, Ciao Bella, you are so beautiful. <laughs> so they kept on with their relationship and Chex tells us it was almost approaching her birthday. She had told Leandro about her birthday. So one day before Chex's birthday, 
she was in bed sleeping around 11 at night nigerian time leandro called her and was like why are you sleeping it is almost your birthday <laughs> almost approaching midnight we must celebrate what do you have at home <laughs> she was like i don't have anything apart from coca-cola and he told her that i've bought wine one red and one white we are going to celebrate so they started talking he sang for her when midnight arrived happy birthday it was very beautiful and she felt very very special that is the time leandro got her attention she was like oh my god this guy is so good so after celebrating on a video call leandro told her that please send me your details i would like to send you something for your birthday via western union so she gave the details and the next morning leandro sent a hundred euros for her to celebrate her birthday she was very very happy she really enjoyed her birthday so friends after the birthday passed as they were talking leandro told checks online dating thing is new to me i'm not used to this phone thing you know talking on the phone such kind of a relationship it is my first time so if we fall in love with each other next month you will be in italy do you remember when i told you guys that a serious man will go on online dating apps with plans leandro had plans was like if i find a right woman i am going to bring her here soon because i'm not used to online dating thing i'm not used to you know talk on the phone and make it a relationship so friends leandro kept on repeating that if we fall in love you are going to be here with me in italy so she thought it was a joke talked about it with her friend her friend told her yes it is possible for people to find love online and then get married so after talking to a friend it cleared her mind and she started a bit believing in him they kept on talking for a while and it was time for introduction remember checks is living with her sister and the daughter so had to introduce leandro to the sister and to the daughter blended very very well even leandro started calling her daughter his daughter this is so so good plus guys he started sending money for food for rent for everything taking care of them even school fees this is a responsible man not a man that looks at a single mother as a failure and guys after five months of their communication of their relationship leandro told checks i want to invite you to italy to meet you because this online thing is not for me phone love mm -mm. i wanted to make real you know we meet physically <laughs> and understand very well what we feel for each other though at that time chicks tells us she was deeply in love with leandro <laughs> so he sent her money to start the process of the visa but at that time chicks never told the parents about leandro in port harcourt had an uncle told this uncle about leandro but never told him they met on online dating apps told him we met here he is in italy now he wants to see me there so the uncle knew all the plans for checks to travel to go to italy meet leandro and the sister of course <laughs> with the support of her so what they agreed on is checks is going to travel from nigeria to italy but without telling the parents because <laughs> they were very very scared of how we are going to start that conversation provided of chicks past relationship experience the parents were hurt and then you bring a story of meeting a guy online you are going to meet him meet a stranger <laughs> that was going to be very very impossible so they made it a secret she traveled from port harcourt to lagos for her visa process made the visa process but unfortunately i think you know already she was denied the visa because it was covid period no one was allowed to travel when leandro had the news that checks was denied the visa 
he was so devastated he was like so now what what are we going to do how are we going to be together because their only hope for that relationship to work was to meet remember leandro is complaining a lot that he can't manage a long distance relationship so checks tells us when she was denied the visa it's like things changed things stopped there was not that much energy like it was before so december 2020 came then checks got covid when she got covid leandro was there with her loving her showing her the care covid time passed then came christmas he sent money for christmas they enjoyed christmas then january 2021 that is when leandro was like so now i am going to be the one to come he went to the embassy to ask for the information so that he can apply the visa to go to nigeria but at the embassy they told him it is not possible to travel at that time if you want to travel to nigeria it is only work visa that's it he was so so frustrated due to that but it did not break their relationship they kept on encouraging each other in fact checks tells us it's like it brought them together because they could keep on talking, giving each other encouraging words. That was their seventh month of their relationship. So it was time for the introduction. I told you if a guy is serious, he will first get to know you, then family comes next. Leandro decided to do a video call, introduce checks to his sister, the husband, and the nephew they were so happy to see checks they were happy for them and their relationship became intense so they kept on talking guys you know when you are in a long distance relationship you must talk even checks advised you that communication is the key you must talk you make sure you talk every single day talk 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 until no more words to talk about <laughs> so as they were talking leandro told her that i am very sure you are the woman i want to spend the rest of my life with checks too told him that you are the man i want to spend the rest of my life with i am very very sure so from there they started talking like husband and wife sharing each other's daily activities so they started talking of how many kids they're going to have the names of the kids he went ahead and created an instagram account for couples <laughs> which is checks lair meaning checks leandro and guys please follow them on their instagram account so he created that instagram account and made their love open to people he kept on talking and leandro kept on telling her that i am coming to nigeria soon to meet you so checks and the sister had to think of the way to tell the parents about Leandro because if he's going to Nigeria of course he will meet the parents so eventually they found a way told the parents but never told the parents that they met on online dating apps <laughs> never so after that the parents were very happy told her if you are happy we are happy too we support you checks tells us they were living like a happy big family though it was just on a video call then guys afro cinema <laughs> begins so three days before checks birthday something happened that they had to break up told each other bad words insulted each other <laughs> and decided to go separate ways so after the breakup what checks did decided to go back to the dating apps downloaded afro downloaded tinder downloaded okcupid okay all these dating apps that you know she downloaded them and started searching for the love of her life <laughs> this is very very funny so as she was on those dating apps came across different men but tells us never connected 
to any man like the way she connected to Leandro. She connected to Leandro in a special way. So after trying and nothing came by and at that time Leandro was blocked everywhere. <laughs> Decided to unblock him, Leandro wrote to her and was like, please can we talk? Let's at least be friends. She was like, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and remember guys this was the couple which celebrated their first year anniversary <laughs> and then broke up oh my god but i told you if you are dating a guy and no fights ever happened mm, something is not okay <laughs> Fights happens and they are okay, but they shouldn't be like fights of everyday fights. If it becomes too much, then that relationship is toxic. So learn to differentiate. So Leandro kept on insisting, talking to her, and in the end they started talking. Chicks tells us love is so stupid because <laughs> even this breakup brought them more closer because after insisting a lot, they decided to talk and they made a video call. I looked Leandro was like, you haven't changed at all. Chick said, you haven't changed at all too. <laughs> so they returned together and also talked to the families that they are together. Because when they broke up, they told the families too that we have broken up. <laughs> so they talked and agreed that they are going to make their relationship work. Work. they should put their pride down they don't know when they are going to meet but what they are sure of they are going to be together no matter what and even decided they shouldn't be like if we meet they should be talking like when we meet so they came out of that breakup stronger ready to make it work with a lot of assurance lots of hope <laughs> so finally they fixed another meeting Leandro told her that I am coming to Nigeria December 2021 and luckily they got a Nigerian guy who was working at the embassy here in Italy promised to help them because he saw how much they loved each other so he was like I am traveling soon to Nigeria it will be better if we travel together I am going to say you are my guest on Monday bring me your passport and other documents to issue the visa so that is how they agreed but guys afro cinema <laughs> so they were really very happy that they've got someone to help them but guys the devil is a liar because that day that leandro was supposed to go to the embassy on his way to the embassy to take the documents to the guy who was ready to help them and that was the only opportunity to be helped leandro got accident that the car couldn't be repaired anymore it got destroyed completely check tells us it was a miracle that leandro got out of that car and scratched so when the accident happened the police came took leandro to the police station to do an alcohol test on him and see if he had the license to drive and all that but they checked leandro wasn't drunk so at that moment Chex tells us it was going to be very selfish of her to start talking about are you coming <laughs> someone is in problems and you start talking of the visa so she couldn't talk about that started talking of how to get out of that problem he was supposed to pay for the fine so december passed then valentine's came on valentine's they promised each other that the next valentine's they are going to be together so he sent her valentine's gift and the gifts for the daughter also sent a laptop so he told her that i bought you that laptop so that you can start your own youtube channel because i want us to share our success love story mind you they have been watching couples that have been in a long distance relationship so it used to give them hope say that 
we are going to meet too and when we meet we are going to share our success love story she was like no i don't want to start he said start now and that is when they started their youtube channel guys again please subscribe to the youtube channel of this beautiful couple the youtube channel name is called checks layer i'm going to be putting it here or here bless you guys so after the accident it took leandro some time to start working and then march told checks that i want to come to nigeria i want to start my visa process now so after applying for the visa that march 2022 the first week of april 2022 leandro was granted the visa when checks had the news she jumped for happiness so he told her that when i come i want to meet your parents and that is when they started making all the plans to see their parents because remember checks is living in port harcourt and the parents are living in another state so the distance from port harcourt to the state where checks parents are living is four hours drive and tells us the security there is not good at all if leandro has to go to see check's parents in that state it was needed two vans of security and it could cost them very very much so after considering the security situation they decided they will bring check's parents to port harcourt so that it can be easy for leandro to meet them but guys all these plans they are making checks tells us it was like a dream coming to an end so she was shaking she was very nervous she wasn't even understanding herself of the way she felt <laughs> so chick's parents came to port harcourt and one week leandro told her one week is remaining i am coming then the actual day came he told her my brother is accompanying me to the airport took a video sent it to her and she was like oh my god she wasn't believing it at all she was super happy very very excited so leandro traveled and then arrived in lagos when he landed in lagos told her that i am in lagos i'm waiting to connect my flight to port harcourt oh my god the pressure was higher <laughs> So friends, Chex went to the airport to wait for Leandro. She tells us it's the moment she will never forget in her life. <laughs> she was shaking, was like, it's not happening. <laughs> you know, when you have lots of excitement, you know, you are very, very happy. <laughs> I can understand the feeling, guys. So it was time when people started coming out and then she was very scared of how Leandro will look because they have got 17 years age gap. But to her surprise, she saw this cute young looking man after seeing him rushed wasn't thinking of anything hugged him so tightly tells us those five minutes were the best in her life being in his arms it was magical they were so 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 emotional <laughs> So friends, from the airport, they had to go to the hotel. Chex tells us had packed all her bags because they wanted to stay together in the hotel. So guys, they went to the hotel together and Chex tells us they had plans. But at the same time, Leandro had another plan with Chex's sisters that she didn't know at all. So after arriving at the hotel, she told Leandro it is better we go to eat something. So they went downstairs and Chex was like, order some food. Leandro was like, no, I am not going to order food. I want to take aperitivo. <laughs> you know, here in Italy, before you eat dinner, there is something called aperitivo. <laughs> and then we will eat later she was like oh this man is strange but maybe that's their culture <laughs> so after taking aperitivo leandro told chicks let's go back 
to the hotel room. They went to the hotel room and immediately Leandro started changing the outfits. So Chex was like, why are you changing? You're okay, we are here in the hotel. Leandro told her, no, you two should change put heels so she was like why should i put on heels we are in the hotel <laughs> he started making stories you know in italy when you meet for the first time you have to dress up well so put on heels and chicks had to change her outfit put on a very cute short dress with some heels <laughs> after dressing up leandro took her out so when they went out he took her to a restaurant that she knew so she asked herself how did this man know this restaurant <laughs> I am Nigerian, that is why I know this restaurant. <laughs> but they kept on, you know, moving towards the restaurant and she started seeing decorations. And when they entered, there was a table reserved, you know? So Leandro started moving towards that table. <laughs> and chicks tells us she's someone who is very shy so she was like this man is starting to embarrass me why is he going there so she told him leandro don't go there that table is reserved didn't want to go and sit then comes a waiter or a waitress to tell them to stand up because the table is reserved but leandro was like vabe come here <laughs> So wine was brought and then he knelt down and popped the question. <laughs> so it was a surprise proposal. Leandro proposed few hours of landing in Nigeria. <laughs> How beautiful. <laughs> so she was very happy, said yes. And then the sisters started calling, congratulating them. It was beautiful. It was magical. She tells us that day was the best day in her life. <laughs> and after the proposal, it was a romantic dinner. Everything good, good, good. Then they returned to the hotel. I know you have been here watching you are waiting for the goodest time <laughs> so after returning to the hotel she tells us they agreed before not to enjoy the goodies before marriage so they went to sleep and she tells us she couldn't sleep due to the way she was feeling of everything that happened that day so around four she woke up leandro and that is when <laughs> they started their beautiful day she tells us soul to soul body to body enjoying the goodies <laughs> and it was very very intense she was like, wow, this is the one. I made the right choice. You made the right choice. We are the perfect couple. <laughs> so friends, in the morning, they went to see Czech's parents, brought lots of gifts for them, brought a phone for Czech's mother, lots, lots of gifts, guys. You know, if you want to deal with Africans, <laughs> If you are a man watching this, you plan to marry an African lady, I've said this. Don't go empty-handed. <laughs> yeah, so he brought gifts because he is a responsible man and very, very understanding. So at the parents' meeting, Leandro told the parents his intentions to get married to checks and the parents were very, very happy, asked for the requirements that are needed for him to get married to checks checks tells us after four or five days the parents went to the village and then returned gave him all the requirements that were needed for him to get married to her including the bride price <laughs> but checks tells us when he heard about the bride price, he was like, I'm not going to buy you. It's not our culture. <laughs> so Chicks made him understand, showed him the pictures of other people who have done it. And in the end, he accepted. So she tells you, if a man really loves you, 
he is going to respect your culture too so in the end leandro understood about the bride price and was ready to pay then leandro paid for the bride price in full even change remained <laughs> she tells us <laughs> so guys the day came they got married traditionally everything was very very beautiful she was so happy leandro happy the parents happy everyone happy for them guys a few days after they did the court wedding it went well also they stayed with family everything was so romantic tells us even the hotel where they stayed they used to celebrate them by playing romantic songs in the evening so guys all went well i think we learned something here of a man who is serious he will be sure of his intentions and he will do the actions so after getting married leandro told the checks you know we have got married but this is not it i want us to have something for us you know on our bodies that will represent our love forever so they decided to do the tattoo <laughs> so he did the tattoo of the full name of checks and she did the tattoo of the full name of Andrew. Love is beautiful, guys. This couple is crazily in love. So after spending good times together as a married couple, Leandro had to return to Italy. It was time for tears <laughs> to say goodbye. She cried a lot, but Leandro told her, promised her, don't worry, my love. Just think that I'm going home and we are going to reunite very, very soon. I'll do anything possible to bring you to Italy. So after a week, Leandro left Nigeria he did all he can so that checks can go to Italy started the visa process she went to Lagos applied for her visa and luckily got the visa to go reunite with her husband in Italy and to make everything clear guys he paid for everything for the visa for her trip to go to Italy so she applied for her visa in april 2022 and in may got her visa july went to italy to reunite with leandro when she arrived at the airport leandro was there they hugged everything was so beautiful so she tells us everything has been very good it is now six months in their marriage they are very happy to be together and tells us it is even more beautiful than it was in a long distance relationship because she is seeing the more beautiful side of leandro that she couldn't see when they were in a long distance relationship so guys if you're wondering about the daughter the daughter will be soon in italy to join the mother the big question which dating app did they meet on they met on badu so beautiful friends that is their beautiful online dating success love story congratulations to you checks and leandro let us wish them luck guys in their marriage quickly to check advice to you all ladies that are on online dating apps searching her tip number one prayers is the key pray to god put everything in the hands of god tip number two and i'm going to be saying it as she said it so i will cut it <laughs> to my nigerian sisters I support you, I understand what you're going through because even me at some point, I went through that. But let's keep on praying to God that he brings a right man who will understand you, a man who wants to look at the negative side of it because we all know how Nigerians are facing lots of difficulties on online dating apps. When they see Nigerians, they're like scammers. She even tells us whenever she could tell men she is from Nigeria, they could say Boko Haram and run. Her tip number three, don't give up no matter what. Keep on searching because online dating apps work. They are an evidence that online dating apps works tip number four never deny your country because a man who will love you will love you for who you are no matter the country you're coming from because he is dating you or he's gonna marry you not the country knew all the stories of boko haram knew all the stories of nigerian scammers but 
still fell in love with checks so she said communication is the key but also added sex will never keep a man leandro never asked for nude photos never asked her what kind of underwear are you wearing today i would like to see it never but they could talk for hours every single day so look for things to talk about but don't think you sending your nude photos to a guy you are going to keep him well, friends we have reached an end of our today's video thank you so much for your support to watch till now i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something please comment below what you think about this video watch my other videos too they are super good subscribe please if you have not subscribed join the family and thank you for subscribing i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart until next time ciao ciao Mwah.